As practitioners of continuous improvement, we often talk about changing things for the better. We want these changes to have a significant and lasting effect. Unfortunately, we often make many changes that don't last. It's also becoming clear that for changes to last, we need to change ourselves. We need to change how we think, how we learn, and how we teach others. Another problem many organizations face is knowing where to start. And if they do know where to start, navigating through the continuous improvement process can be a daunting endeavor. The good news is there's a far better way to improve, learn, and innovate by applying a scientific thinking process known as Toyota Kata. Well, my name is Ron Pereira, and I'm excited to welcome you to this Toyota Kata course. Now, in this first overview module, we're going to explain what Toyota Kata and its primary routines are all about. We'll also talk about the roots of Toyota Kata before explaining why we believe the learning that results from these carefully constructed improvement and coaching routines will change the way your organization thinks and behaves. And finally, by the end of this module, you'll know what to expect throughout the rest of this course. Well, let's get started with a short Toyota Kata history lesson. The original Toyota Kata research was conducted by lean thinking pioneer Mike Rother and his colleagues from 2004 to 2009 and is summarized in the must-read book Toyota Kata. Now, according to Mr. Rother, this research was driven by two questions. What are the unseen managerial routines and thinking that lie behind Toyota's success with continuous improvement, and how can other companies develop similar routines and thinking in their organizations? And what started as a single book has now morphed into a passionate movement of lean thinkers, or kata geeks, as they sometimes like to call themselves, focused on improving the way organizations think, learn, and improve. Well, to understand what Toyota Kata is, we must first know how management is defined within its framework. The Toyota Kata definition of management is the systematic pursuit of desired conditions by utilizing human capabilities in a concerted way. Or put another way, the Toyota Kata practice routines help us learn to move from our current state to a future desired state with extreme structure and elegance. Now, most watching this are likely familiar with Toyota and their continuous improvement success. But the word kata may be new unless you've practiced martial arts. Well, simply put, kata are practice routines meant to develop strong, virtuous habits. And Toyota kata practitioners are primarily focused on two complementary routines, the improvement kata and the coaching kata. Now, these routines are designed to turn the sometimes difficult skill of scientific thinking into a practical four-step routine anyone can learn. Now, throughout the rest of this course, we'll take you on a deep, thorough dive into this four-step working pattern, but there is one important takeaway that I'd like to share in this overview module. And this takeaway is that the Toyota Kata isn't a problem-solving methodology. Instead, the primary purpose behind the improvement and coaching kata is to develop the habitual scientific thinking patterns behind all sound problem-solving approaches. Okay, well to wrap up this module, I want to tell you more about this course and our instructor. Now this course was shot in front of a live class and was facilitated by Toyota Kata expert Mark Rosenthal. Now, Mark's been practicing lean for more than 20 years and has become one of the world's leading Toyota Kata advocates. In fact, Mike Rother asked Mark to review and comment on the manuscript of his book, The Toyota Kata Practice Guide. So to be sure, we believe Mark is extremely qualified to deliver this course. Finally, I'd like to explain two ways this course can be used. First, if you're looking to better understand the theory behind Toyota Kata, you can simply watch the course and review the support materials. And while this isn't a bad way to approach things, it's our hope that most will take this second approach, which is to seek out at least three additional colleagues who will work through the course with you as if you were all sitting in our live classroom. Now, we've structured the course with prompts and calls to action that will allow you to participate as if you were in the same room as Mark and our live students. 
And we're also providing all the tools and details that you'll need in an easy to use ebook that can be found in the resources section of this course. Okay, and that wraps up this overview module. In our next video, we're going to get things started with a fun icebreaker. So, we'll speak to you soon.